This year, Ag Week will be following alongside a farmer for North Dakota Corn Council's Planting to Processing series. This week, I met with Tyson Rosenau as he gets ready to plant his acres. Tyson farms with his wife and dad on their operation just east of Carrington, North Dakota. They grow wheat, soybeans, and corn on their acres. Planting season may not be here yet, but Tyson has been busy at work making important decisions for his crops. Looking at plot data and then analyzing our own data from, from last year um, to select the hybrids and the uh, seeds that work best and the maturity ranges that work best on our farm. With the region's unpredictable weather, Tyson makes sure his seed selections are flexible. Obviously, there's always that need to be able to move maturity ranges as the spring progresses, whether we look like we're going to get in the field early or late. Though inflation continues to be a problem, Tyson tries to make his dollar go as far as it possibly can. Seed and chemical uh, took a little rise on us this year, um, and we've been trying to you know, work with and work with programs to try to reduce those costs as much as we can. Throughout the winter, Tyson also attends farmers meetings and farming expos in the region. He recently hosted a delegation of public and private representatives from Mexico, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Panama and Colombia, and a delegation from Japan on his farm. While in North Dakota, the attendees got to see the U.S. ethanol industry in action. Tyson discussed harvest, drying and storage methods with the group. I stay pretty busy on the farm, but uh, I am also the chairman of the North Dakota Corn Utilization Council. So that does require some time and effort, but it's worth it to see the checkoff dollars at work and how they directly help like my operation with marketing our corn. Tyson doesn't predict he'll be in the field anytime soon, but he is hopeful about the upcoming planting season. We're going to be late. There's a lot of snow with more to come, but uh, hopefully we can get some nice weather to turn around and so we're not at a mad dash like we were last year. And, Hopefully we can see the field before mid-May. Mid if that happens, we'll, we'll make the most of it and we'll get every acre in we can. We'll check in next with Tyson during planting season. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.